Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a real quick video for you about one of the latest features in Squarespace, and it has been a much anticipated, long awaited update that I think is going to be hugely useful to many, many people. Before I share with you what that is, if we haven't met yet, my name is Meg. I am the founder of Floating Lotus Design, and I'm a Squarespace web designer, SEO specialist, and I'm here to help you elevate your business and your website without the tech overwhelm. All right. Without further ado, the new feature is being able to upload files in forms directly in Squarespace. This is a huge, long-awaited, been on the forums for a while, people begging and asking for this functionality, and it's finally here. So let's just cut to the chase, and I will show you how this works. All right, so we're over in my demo site, and I'm going to quickly show you how you can add file uploading function to your forms. All right, so I'm in empty page. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add a form. So I'm just going to scroll down here and I'm going to choose forms. And let's just start with a simple let's work together form. Now, when you first add this form, it's going to come over as its default uh, format. And you'll notice here that file upload isn't there, but you can add it. So if you go into the form and you edit, you're going to come on down here to the content and edit form fields. So when I click on that, and I will just move this over here a little bit. These are all the existing form fields, so you can arrange those as you like, but I'm going to add a field. And then it gives me all of my options, and you'll see right down here at the bottom is file upload. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to leave it at the bottom of the stack. If I wanted it somewhere else within the form, you can drag and drop. But I'm going to leave it down at the bottom. And back, and you will see how that adds it right down to the bottom here. Now, you can still make some updates to the uh, parameters, if you will, of the file upload. So let's go back into edit for a moment and into form fields. And if we click here, I'll just move this over a little bit. Here's where you can change the label to say whatever you want, doesn't have to be file upload. You can add a description, perhaps you wanna give instructions to folks. You can make it a required field. So if there's particular form you want clients or potential clients to submit something and it's required for them to actually do that, you can set that here. And then you have the ability to um, allow only specific file types. I'm gonna tell on so you can see. People can load in different image type files, documents, presentations, video, audio. So there's lots of different types of file formats that you can accept in the file uploads. But if you only want to allow certain ones, maybe it's images or documents, then you can select that here. And then you can also say how many files you can max out. So maybe you only want them to be able to upload one file, or maybe you want them to upload many. So you can set how many files, it's only up to five at a time. So you can set that. So if you want them to be able to do more than one file at a time, you can do that here. So go back and I'm going to save that. And I won't go into all this other stuff. It's the design and storage and all that is the same as it has been on forms. Um, but now that you have that, folks can now add a file. So if I save that and exit out, I can kind of show you this in practice do a preview. So now that the form is working, someone can click right there and the window will open up and they'll be able to add their files from their computer. That's really all there is to it. Uh, if you don't want to use a already formatted template from the library, you can also always just add a form block. And when you do that, show you right here, you get just a very generic form that then you can edit any way you want. So just keeping that in mind that you have the ability to choose it when you're in a section, you can choose a template like this, or you can just add a block to wherever you are on your page. So it just goes to show that dreams do come true. And sometimes those features that we have been asking for for years finally do show up. Hope you found it helpful. Feel free to jump in down below in the description and subscribe to my newsletter where I share lots of other stuff and special things that only get shared with that community. Would love to see you there and I'll see you in the next video.